Short-term memory loss Is your short-term memory loss normal? Many health conditions, medications, and lifestyle habits affect memory. Testing will help you know where you stand. If you have trouble learning new things or remembering what you just read, or you frequently forget why you walked into a room, you may be dealing with short-term memory loss. Short-term memory loss is a very common problem, but there are a lot of misconceptions about it and about how serious it is if you are experiencing it. You may have heard that it is the first sign of Alzheimer's disease. While this can be true, fortunately it is rarely the case. What is short-term memory? Before we can talk about short-term memory loss, we need to be clear on what short-term memory is. Short-term memory, sometimes referred to as working memory, is the process of temporarily storing small bits of information for a very short amount of time usually for only 15 to 30 seconds. Your short-term memory acts like your brain's scratch pad or sticky notes. While short-term memory is believed to largely occur in the prefrontal cortex of the brain, it is not a place in the brain as much as it a process that occurs in the brain. Here are a few examples of ways you use your short-term memory during the day. To temporarily memorize a phone number or appointment date until you record it somewhere permanently. To recall the name of someone you were just introduced to. To remember a comment you want to make when your companion is done talking. To prompt yourself when driving as in I will change lanes as soon as the blue car on my left passes. This kind of information quickly disappears unless you make a point to try to remember it. Your short-term memory also acts as a filter, deciding what important enough to keep and what not. In fact, the ability to discard useless information is absolutely necessary to keep your brain from being overwhelmed. Short-term memory capacity. How many pieces of information can your brain hold at one time? The magical number seven. Plus or minus 2 is one of the most highly cited papers in psychology. It suggests that we can store 7 pieces of information in our short-term memory, give or take 2. But this study is now over 50 years old which in brain science terms makes it positively ancient. The latest research has found that the new magic number is lower than that. It is more likely that only 3 to 5 pieces of information can normally be held in working memory at any one time. Short-term memory loss defined. It is not straightforward. Now that you have got a good understanding of short-term memory, a definition of short-term memory loss will make more sense. Short-term memory loss is commonly used to broadly describe forgetting things that happened recently. But the scientifically accepted definition of short-term memory refers to the process that involves remembering bits of data for just a few seconds. In fact, almost all memories that go through the short-term memory process are filtered out and forgotten but both doctors who work with patients and the general public alike almost always use the broad definition of short-term memory loss as not being able to remember things that happened recently so that is the definition we will use in the rest of this article short-term memory loss symptoms some normal some serious most people wrongly equate short-term memory loss with dementia while people with dementia usually do have problems with their short-term memory rest assured that not all memory loss is caused by dementia and most memory loss is not serious here are some signs that your short-term memory loss falls within a normal range and is nothing to be alarmed about misplacing common objects not being able to come up with the right word at times not remembering something you just read walking into a room and not remembering why calling people you care about by the wrong name occasionally moments like these are considered mild forgetfulness and how can you determine if your memory loss is serious one of the most reliable signs of significant short-term memory loss is if your friends and family express concern about your memory issues to you. They are often better judges of your behavior than you are. Other signs your memory loss may be serious include getting lost when you eat close to home, having a hard time following simple book or movie plots, struggling to keep up with daily tasks like paying bills or preparing meals, not remembering whether you have eaten or not, asking the same question repeatedly, experiencing personality changes short-term memory loss the bottom line short-term memory loss is a common phenomenon with many causes it can be considered normal and changes to your lifestyle are often all that required to get your memory back on track but it can be more serious especially if the cause is an underlying health condition or the side effect of a medication taking an online memory test can help you know where you stand if your memory loss has you worried discuss your situation with your doctor